morning guys welcome to the vlog I thought I had Joanne's paper over here well thanks for the information I'm sorry. it's all right I'll let it slide this time really I thought I had a new Joanne's little I don't know where it went VBS has got oh, I'm just throwing this thing away and I have like a million of these little wood shapes. And if I just put a few of them in this thing, which she done demolished, um, keeps her busy for a little while. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought I had a Julian's. Oh, here it is. This has got to be it. I just found a different one and I threw it away. But supposedly, yeah, supposedly my heat press is going to be delivered today we will see um, last time i checked it was last night and it was in columbia so pretty sure it'll be here but we got to go to joanne's i need some fabric um that is like sprinkles i use it on a shopkins and i don't have any or i can't find it so i'm gonna go see if i can find it or something similar so wish me good luck what are you doing? You see all this? I found that they have a new thing at Joanne's. It's called Celebration. I celebrate on those. Closest thing I could find so far. It's your sprinkles. I think the sprinkles would be in here. Please get out of my purse, child. Took your shoes off. I love that rainbow. I got some of that rainbow. Haven't done nothing with it. I like the avocados. Look, Sterling. <gasps> Tacos. I just think it would be in here, don't you? Look, at there's donuts with some sprinkles. Hey guys, so we just got home. I'm pretty sure this is my heat press. Honey, it weighs 50 pounds. Oh, I it was just no, don't break it. Uh. Anyway, drop it. And daddy can't lift more than 10 pounds, so I'll have to figure out. I'll have to try to get it in. We got. <gasps> oh, we got it. Mm. Oh, we got bubbles. Come on, come on. Let's see what we got. You sit with mom and dad, or sit with me? Bubbles. Okay, okay and that was my art. <laughs>
Hey, look at that little bitty one. Dang, where'd y'all find all this? Hey, hey, they literally found them. And. Oh, look at that. She's so excited. Okay, you keep them set where I'm going to try to. She wants one in her hand. <laughs> we got up. Okay, thank you. What do you do with the baby child anyway? We're gonna put them back over there. Okay, no, 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 no. Journey. Say hey guys. Say VBS is over. We had graduation tonight, huh? Dog, dog, yeah. We just went home, put on our pajamas. They're catching fireflies. Prepare the. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, there's one right in front of you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Make sure they're all not down. You stay in there, little. Oh, come on. Hold on. Let's go see him. Look at him. Do you see him? I asked her if she wanted to go see him. She went, yep, yep, yep. Can I, can I like, see the rocks, please? Thank you. Oh, you want to go catch them? Go catch some fireflies. Let's go catch them. Come on. Do one more? In your hands? Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, it's open. How many? Six, I think. <gasps> you! No, uh uh. Uh uh, honey. Did you catch one? Nope. We caught. Okay, Journey. Ah! Ah! <gasps> oh. Hold on. Oh. Oh. One fell. Yeah, one fell out. One oh. fell out. Oh, oh. Okay. Another journey. Yeah. Glass jar. Hey, there's one right here. In the grass. Oh, there's one right behind you, Sterling. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, there's one right in front of you, Alyssa. In the driveway. It's probably like towards Journey now. See him in the driveway? Watch. Watch the driveway.
gotta let the fireflies go. They caught probably, I know there's well over 50 in here. Here, we'll just set it right here. Did we ever feed them? Yeah, I Just did. lift the lid off it. Take He's chewing his food right here. There you guys go. Bye bye. We hoped you we helped you find your mates. Oh, there goes one. Yeah. Oh, boo! And the door. No, 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 no. Alright. Hey guys. Oh let me turn this. I have this so we can you could see us catching or the girls catching fireflies. I'm down. Stairs. You can tell that I have had no time this week because it is an utter chaos mess down here. <laughs> yeah. Because I just moved my heat press out of the way and I'm like, crap, I don't have nowhere to put it. I pulled this drawer out and set it up here right now because it has my scrap pieces of this and so usually when I'm making a design I try to go for my scrap pieces first um, and then if it's not in my scrap pieces then I go to the rolls anyway so heat press yeah I got my heat press today um, I just pulled that one out so it was over here in the corner I should wipe it down. All the marks are from the little feet on that thing. Little black feet. Like rubber stoppers. Let me grab a rag. I do want to wrap. Oh, here we go. That's why I keep these down here. <laughs> but. Oh my. That's like a big nick in there from. Ain't gonna come off. And that's okay. Main part, I just wanted to get all the dirt and dust and yuck off it. But the heat press I got, I bought it off Amazon. And I'm very leery of stuff when I buy it because y'all know I bought that one off Amazon. And I never did like it, like at all. Um, my trouble was the screws kept breaking and that's what has happened is the screw broke yeah right there so here's this um, I had to look it down the steps by myself which actually it wasn't that bad I thought it was going to be worse my husband was like just you know walk in front of it and let it you know slide down the steps and it was pretty easy honestly um, the hardest part was pushing it from the bottom of the steps to in here. Uh, but, you know, my husband, he can't lift anything for two weeks. Nothing over 10 pounds. So, support for Windows 7 is coming to an end. That's what it says on my computer. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I got three. Let me see where I can put you. I'll put you guys right there. Let me grab a scissors. So I can cut the box open. I've got three orders I need to get finished tonight. It, it, did I even tell you what time it was? It's almost 10 o'clock. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish them all or not. Um, I know one's a JoJo. One's a... Um, the one I had to go get the fabric for. And... Let's see if I can put you guys... Is that good enough? Kind of. You guys are lopsided. But anyway, Sterling was supposed to spend the night at Alyssa's house, but um, although her anxiety is getting better, she still, like, um, when we said something about spending the night, she was like, yeah. Then she was like, I just don't like it. Um, I just can't sleep good at other people's houses. So. Well, like, well, if you don't want to, don't, you know, nobody's making you. I don't want her ever to feel like, you know, we're trying to make her do something she don't want to do. But. Okay. Just 
room is crowded. Let me. My old heat press, my husband's like, he's like, don't throw it away. Just, um, we're going to see if we can put a new screw in it, get it together. I mean, it still works. <laughs> so, um, it's got good temperature and stuff. Like, the temperature setting on it is even and good. It's just the screws keep falling apart. And plus, I don't like it because it's a swing arm. And this one I bought is not the swing arm. I don't, I don't recommend the swing arms because it's like you gotta have room for it to swing over. And, um, this one, I'll leave a link probably down below somewhere. This is not sponsored. If you order it and it turns out bad, don't don't blame me. Because <laughs> I don't know. I read good reviews, I read bad reviews. I'm like, I don't know. So I don't This thing is huge. Um this one right here I think was an I don't know. A nine by twelve or so I don't remember. I don't remember the size of that one. It's a smaller one. Like this probably the smallest ones that you can get. This one is a fifteen what is, does it say? Fifteen by fifteen I think. So it's a lot bigger. Let me show you guys so you can see. The box. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like doing this solo. Normally I have my husband's help. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get up to get it out of the box. A lot bigger. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm going to. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. I'm heating up. I usually set mine at 300. I know a lot of people do theirs differently, but I use 300 because it's like traditionally like wool setting. So, um, I was just reading this. Yeah, so far it hasn't blown up. <laughs> it's leery. Especially, you know, since it traveled through the mail. You don't know what gets knocked loose, but I can feel the heat coming off it. And then when you push it down, and when this goes down, it sets your timer for 20 seconds. So. Hey guys, so it's 11.21. I'm still embroidering. I've got one out. Um, one embroidering out. I still have to finish two more. It'll be late when I get done, but Journey's going to sleep. Let's drop my phone. Um, Journey's going to sleep with her dad, and the girls are still up. But um, I was sitting here. I could be making a ribbon trim, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I was sitting here, and I went to um copyright on YouTube like I, I never really you know look around on my settings a lot and so I clicked on copyright and it was like one match and it was like somebody I don't remember resolved well they already resolved it they resolved it today standard removal they resolved it right now um, but somebody had um, stolen like my how What's her name? How I make a three layer ribbon trim tutu vlog. I mean, and it's, it's, I mean, it's not that good 
of a video it's just a daily vlog and then I had a lot of people at the time asking me about um, how I make the ones with three layers well it's not actually three layers it's just three you know two ribbon on the top like sewn onto the top and then one ribbon on the bottom so it's not actually three layers it's just three ribbons but um people call them like three layer ribbon trims so I had a lot of questions and so I just vlogged about it that day and so you know first I'm talking about I don't even know what I was talking about bacon or something in the beginning of the video and um then it goes on to show you know me doing it and making the bow and I don't even know what else oh gosh it actually has what, what were we doing oh darn it oh it actually has oh I think we ma I made that our friends came over and then we went out to eat so and this video is from 2016 from April but anyway I'm like why would anybody want to steal that video um there is 69,000 views on it maybe they thought you know they were gonna make some money off it I have no idea but there's you know there's other videos to steal not mine mine aren't that great <laughs> anyway I just wanted to share that carry on hey guys so I'm starting my second shirt is 10 minutes to 12 and um out of pink this is the pink I like and it is number 1584 so I'm gonna have to order I don't even know why I've never ordered ah. for some reason I kept thinking I had another one over here but it is actually the one that I took off and replaced this one with so I have this one which almost looks like the this one I don't know if you can tell yeah but this one is more of a kind of a redder that's more of a pink um, that one matches the Jojo better than this one but um, yeah so for whatever reason I was thinking I had another one over here and I do not I had another one of the pink that I like which is number 921 so I'm going to have to order thread. I have like, I love getting new thread, but I hate because having to order because I have to spend so much money. It seems like whenever I order thread, like you can't just order like one spool of thread because then you got to pay all that shipping. Um, and I've been ordering from United Thread. I know there's other places to order thread, so I'm going to look around a little bit before I actually place my order. Um, and the United Thread, your first order is free shipping. So, but I already did that twice and I just don't feel like, you know, I should do it again. I might get caught. Um, but the thing is, is like, I'm such an idiot though, because, um, the first, the order I was reading on the website just now, I was like the, any orders that are over $175 are free shipping. And the last order was over $175 because I ordered my Mighty Hoop so it would have been free shipping anyway so I didn't even have to use like my first time buyer free shipping I could have actually ordered it with the other account and got the free shipping and then saved this one but I'm dumb so anyway I am using some thread art thread right here um, I've used it like once before not that particular one but I have used thread art thread before um, I've used the Coates and Clark thread before and because of certain colors that I needed like uh, so I needed like this silver right here which is a Coates and Clark so I've used this one and I used this hot pink I mean they do okay um, but they tend to break a lot more and I don't remember what color I used. It might have been gold. No. I don't really remember what thread art thread I used. It was a certain, some color that I didn't have and I needed. But luckily, like, when I did need it, it was only for, like, a little spot. But this is going to be for a number and part of, um, 
part of a cupcake and part of a name. So I'm going to see how this thread art thread. I'm going to go for it and try it because that's the only color I have that it's going to match. I could do it like in this other color. But I don't. It, it's, it wouldn't look right. I can't. I need something deeper. So we're going to go for it and see what happens. Wish me good luck. Oh, I got to load up the design first. <laughs> It's ready to hit start and it would be printing off the same design I just got done. Yeah, I almost screwed up there, didn't I? Hey guys, so it is now one, like one o'clock. Um, I got done with the um, cupcake and then the other shirt I had to do. I can hear those girls upstairs. It's one o'clock, y'all, and they are just like flip-flopping. I have no idea what they're doing. But I'm not going to do the other shirt that I was going to do. I told you I had three shirts to do. I'm not going to do the other one um, because it was ordered on the 2nd, and technically that's a, that was a Saturday, I believe. Yeah. So it would ship out on Saturday, so I'm not going to stay up. You know, because that design, I think, takes like 45 or so minutes. And plus, I have to um, get it uploaded into the thing and yada yada. So, um, I was like thinking about it. And I'm like, you know, I'll, I know I'm going to make it tomorrow. So, it'll go out on Saturday. Um, and my turnaround is like set at two weeks. Um. I'm trying to get it back down to where you know where it's under two weeks because I have been running under two weeks like all um ever since I got back from Michigan and all this week except for this is the first um setback um <laughs> this one order and that's just because of VBS I mean I, I know I'd be um up there with my orders be back, you know what I mean. I'd be pumping them out. But VBS was from like six o'clock, which we had to, you know, be there by six o'clock. And then it got over at eight thirty. And then a lot of times we wouldn't get home. Like, you know, we'd stay after it, man. Whatever. So and then tonight we didn't get home till late because they had um afterwards we eight um and had fellowship with everybody so uh, but i just wanted to i'm waiting for my heat press to heat up it's almost there um but i wanted to say i watched i just watched angela's video hold on i lost my uh tender touch there it is I just watched Angela's video on how she started, um, and that was so sweet because she said like she watched my embroidery vi video, like one of the first ones she watched, and it's so funny because I think that video is just utter crap. <laughs> like when I made it, I mean I was just making it just to make it, um, because I. Like, when I, hmm, hold on, hold that thought. I haven't used their Teflon. I'm kind of, like, worried, you know what I mean? Like, when you use something from somewhere else, like, I don't know what's on it. And I want to put a Teflon sheet down and then a shirt. And then my Tender Touch and then my another tef um, piece of Teflon. I just always want to use my Teflon. I actually have two of these Teflon sheets when I first bought my other heat press. I ordered one and I think it came with one. So, But anyway, um, oh, yeah, so I guess just, it's just funny how, you know, you can influence somebody by not really knowing or you know, that really wasn't my intent. I guess it kind of was my intention when I made the video, but 
Like, I didn't know it was going to get as many views as it has, and I think it's a crap video. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to this machine. And oh my gosh, I just totally flattened out my shirt. I have noticed like this um, heat press, I don't know, it's like just so different than the other one. Because <laughs> like I just pressed the shirt, but it's not like, it like leaves a lot of wrinkles. So this is one I did. And then I have to put the tender touch on the other one. I'm so glad to have a heat press again though because tender touching these bad boys. It's so much easier to do it really with the heat press because you get that even um, pressure on the tender touch and it's just, you know, I feel like it makes it stick better. Opposed to, um, you know, an iron. But, boom. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.